Hi, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. Uh, my name is Anna, if you haven't, and I'm going to talk you through my Pandos eyeshadows today. This is, I've done my, I've done the like original Pandos eyeshadows that um, Alexandra Shostan created a long time ago. Uh, so I have a big like Pandas eyeshadows playlist with lots of fun videos, but this year I'm doing it differently because at the beginning of the year I wasn't actually planning on filming eyeshadow. No, I wasn't actually planning on filming for YouTube at all. So I just decided I want to set myself up for success and try to hit as many pans as possible this year. And I set a goal of 24 eyeshadows in 2024. So I have more than 24 eyeshadows actually to talk to you about but um, my goal is to hit 24 eyeshadow pans this year. So in my last video I showed you a pan in my Huda Emerald Obsessions. I haven't used this palette at all this month so that one um, is kind of out of the project. And then the Huda Beauty Ruby Obsessions also haven't used this one but I will be working on that one again soon. And then also my two shades from my Lethal. I have two eyeshadows, a purple and a more like matte transition shade. Also haven't used those this month. And then my from my Elva palette, I have not used the shade Dandelion, which is that one down there this month. So those are the only shades that I haven't used. Uh, so now I'm going to talk you through the ones that I actually have progress on and not just progress as you can see by my title I did hit four new eyeshadows pants this month, which is crazy to me I don't really I'm not a hit pan and eyeshadow every day type of person. So this is um, It's a lot of fun. So the first one is actually from my uh, own side elbow palette, and it's the shade Jasmine right here so you'll see what it looked like last month and then I only used this one three times this month to hit that pan. I probably used it twice to hit pan and then I used it once more after that. So this one took me 19 uses to hit pan on and I hit that pan on March 25th and yeah this got really powdery actually. Um, so I, I feel like some eyeshadows tend to do that once they get a little bit older, they get more powdery because I cannot remember it being like this before, but now it was definitely changing a little bit. So yeah, that's the Ovenside Elba palette and there's still one more shade to pan on in there. And I'll just go through the other ones in a random order here. First up, I have my only Colourpop eyeshadow in this project. This is the shade Hear Me Out. It's this one right here. Um... And I, I definitely feel like this has a lot of progress. This one I used 11 times this month. And then I had already used it 22 times in January and 10 times in February. So that's a lot of use. And I can definitely tell that the dip is getting really deep. So I feel like I will be able to hit pan on this one quite soon. And then I have one eyeshadow from MAC as well. And this is the shade... Sumptuous Olive, it's this one, and there's definitely a dip forming, but I know how well you'll be able to see it. So this one I used three times this month, and then I also used it five times previously in this project, so not bad, but this one is going to stay in until probably December, I guess. And then I have uh, some Huda Beauty eyeshadows. I have the Huda Nude Light palette, and I'm working on two shades in here. Uh, so I have a lot of pens in this eyeshadow palette, but I'm working on this one. It's the sixth shade in the palette. I used this one three times this month. It's a pink with like a green shift. I feel like you can see the dip in there. And then this dark brown one that I used eight times this month, but this is going to be hard to pan on. I usually just use a slightly smaller brush and I use very little at the time and I try using it on my lower lash line quite a bit as well if I'm using it for a look to kind of dip into the same spot but it's slow going. 
but the one that I'm fairly certain I will be able to pan on quite soon is this one from the Huda Topaz Obsessions. This is a light shade similar to the ones that I have already hit pan on in my Huda Nude Light. And this one I used uh, seven times this month. So it's getting a dip, but I hadn't really used it previously. And then this one I only used two times. But you can definitely see the dip there. So these, um, I don't think they will take long as long as I just remember to use them. So I basically started using, started working on this light shade once I hit pan in my Elva palette in the shade Jasmine. And then I also have one more uh, palette from Huda Beauty which I wasn't actually planning to hit pan in any of these because I hadn't even bought it at the beginning of the year but then in February when I bought it I thought why not try and hit pan in some of my newer eyeshadows and uh, if you want to know more about that whole story I talk about it in my intro because I was originally planning on hitting pan in two eyeshadows from Urban Decay from the Urban Decay Born to Run palette but I have I have a lot of thoughts on that. So I decided to try and hit pan in some shades in here instead. And then we'll see what I do with my Urban Decay. I haven't really decided yet, but I haven't been working on it at all this year. So I have three shades in here. The first one is, I'll try showing you with this. First one is Joy. It's this one right here. I hope you'll be able to see. There's definitely some disturbance compared to when it was brand new. Um, I really like this shade. Uh, it's beautiful on the lid and I've used it three times this month, once last month. The other one is Self Love. I'm kind of concentrating my brush in this top corner where it's mostly white. And um, I used this one four times. And then I'm also trying to hit pan in the shade Cherished, which I've also used four times, which is just a light pink matte shade. And if these are as easy to pan on as the smaller palettes, then I will be able to do it. But it's quite tightly pressed. I've seen people hit pan in this one in not that many uses, but we'll see. Next is my Too Faced Pineapple, Sparkling Pineapples palette. And this one, I'm working on most of the shades from this palette. I'm going to try showing it this way. So the first one is this right here. This is the shade Yum Yum. I used it five times this month. I'm using this palette quite a bit, but I hadn't used it in January or February. And then the shade Coconut Sugar, which I wasn't actually planning on hitting pan in, in this project, but it just worked out that way. And I also really like using this one as a face highlighter. So I tend to do that. If I use it on my eyes, I'll use it on my face as well. So I used this one eight times this month. Then for the shade Sparkling Pineapples, I only used it once, but I feel like you'll definitely be able to see that that one time made a difference. And I, I wore this to my, when I did my makeup collection video with a blue eyeliner, I really like that. And then this shade right here, this is Pineapple Cooler. I used this three times and this is like a cream eyeshadow and it's definitely disturbance in here but it's not really a deep pan so I, I have no idea it's because I haven't hit pan in any of these I have no idea how long it will take me but I'm excited to see I feel like they won't be the hardest eyeshadows to pan on but also who knows and then I have my uh, Reina del Caribe palette from Olimar Cosmetics and I have two eyeshadows in here so the shade L Malacom, which is this one. I used this one twice this month and I'd already used it five times in this project and I've used it 21 times in a previous project. So I don't know if you'll be able to tell a difference. The deep the dip is definitely there, but it's not very deep. But in La Costa, which is the other one in this palette, you can see that I've hit pen. Look at that. That's beautiful. And these are so deep. Like if I can show you like this, these are insanely deep eyeshadows. 
So this one actually, I'd used it 41 times that I tallied previously, like last year or the year before. Um, but this time I only used it four times to hit that pan. It just kind of took me by surprise a little bit. So I hit pan in that one on the 16th of March. So that was very exciting. And then the last palette, which I'm saving the best for last, this one is my MAC Rose Gilded palette. And I'm working on a lot of shades from this one as well. So this one is Fawn Over. And as you can see, hit pan in this one as well. And this one I actually hit pan on on um, March 1st. So it took me 24 uses in total. And I used it, um, let's see, I used it three times this month. So that's that one. And then the green one, Miss Nefertiti, I used two times, yes, two times this month. So it looks like this now. And then the shade Flash Beams, which is this one. It's definitely a very deep dip in this one. And I used it nine times this month. So I think you'll be able to see that some it's changing a little bit. This one is uh, Glamageddon, and I used it three times this month. So a little bit of difference. And then finally, Midnight Feast. I hit also a pen in this one on March. On I also hit pen in this one on March first. I was using an eyeliner brush and suddenly I could see a little bit of light down there and that was the pan. So this one I did use three times this month. It took me um, 30 uses to hit pan on it. So that's like with using a very small eyeliner brush and using it 30 times that it took a long time. This is a very creamy formula. Um, so I think that also when I hit pan, it didn't really, like some eyeshadows show very clearly that this is pan, but this one was a little more, I had to like scrape my brush a little bit because it kind of stuck to the bottom of the pan a little bit. But now you can definitely very clearly see that this eyeshadow palette has two pans, which is very exciting. So those are all of the eyeshadows. Uh, my goals for April is to hit pan or at least try to get a lot of use on the Lethal Purple eyeshadow. This is the shade Twilight. Uh, it's a big eyeshadow, but it's very shallow in the pan. And then I also want to hit pan in the Hear Me Out shade from uh, Colourpop. And I want to hit pan in my Omsai Elva palette in the shade Dandelion so that I can kind of I don't want to say retire this palette because I'm not really ready to do that, but put it aside at least. And then I also want to hit pan in the shade Flash Beams, which is just a very nice inner corner highlight shade that will work well with both of those, I think. So those are my goals for April. And I think that's pretty much everything. Um, yeah. I think that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please comment, like, subscribe and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!